Glory to you, O giver of life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace. Good will among all people. We praise you, we bless you. We worship you, we glorify you. We give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord, Lord, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, have mercy on us, God, according to your great mercy, we pray for us and have mercy. Again, we pray for faithful Orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for our church, for Alexis, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy church and for all our fathers and brethren and the Orthodox who departed this life before us. And we're here in all the world, I sleep in the Lord. The Lord, have again we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and honorable church. For those who serve and those who sing and for all the people in their presence, we your great and your rich mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, for you are merciful. For you are merciful and loving God. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy upon us and protect us from God by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. peace and faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Let us ask for a Christian into our life, peaceful, without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the full accomplished and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, and ask and ourselves and one another, and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord, for you are the God of mercies, and love mankind, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Irini Pasi, peace be with you all. And to your spirit, let us bow our heads unto the Lord. O Holy Lord, you who dwell on high and see the things below, look upon all your creation. With your overseeing eye, we bow our soul and body, and we pray to you, O Holy of Holies, extend your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned willingly or unwillingly, forgive us as a good God who loves mankind. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Master, bless. Blessed is Christ our God, always, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the Holy Orthodox faith and all Orthodox Christians in the ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Theotoko, save us. More honorable than the cherubim beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption, you gave birth to God the Logos. We truly magnify you to Theotoko. Glory to our God, our hope, glory to you. Master bless. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, as a good and loving and merciful God, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most holy, pure, holy mother. The holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, the patron of our holy church, Mark the Evangelist, and the saints that we celebrate today, St. John Climacus, Antipas, Bishop of Pergamum, Par Farmuthius, and Gulak, and for those who we celebrate today and of all your saints, through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. It's time for the Lord to have Master Bless. Heavenly Master, pray for me. And the Master, remember me. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among all. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy.
We welcome you today as we begin the holy and great divine liturgy of St. Basil the Great during this Lenten season. We have the opportunity to offer ourselves to our Lord God and Savior and to enter into his kingdom when we say the words, Evloyimeni Vasilia, blessed is the kingdom. For those of you who are here, we thank you and we thank God that you're able to worship with us. For those of you at home, if you would like to light a candle, you may go to our stmarkboca.net website on the upper right hand corner there's a light a candle one of our faithful parish council are there ready to light your candle for you and offer your prayer to our Lord God and Savior let us all enter the kingdom and ask our Lord to bless us <laughs> Blessed is the kingdom of Loyime, Niva, Silia, to Patros, get to you, get to you, Pnevmatos, Ninke, Ai, Kes to say on us to Neonon. And it is need to give you the Thomen. Υπέρ του Αγίου Οικουτού του και των μεταπίστεως, ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιόντων εν αυτό του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρ των ευσεβών και ορθοδόξων χριστιανών του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρ του Αρχιεπισκόπου ημών Αλεξίου του Τιμίου Πρεσβυτερίου της εν Χριστώ διακονίας παντός του κλήρικου του λαού του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Αναγισό. For our country, for the President and for all in public service let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and for every city and land and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord our God, whose power for our is deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the perils of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our brethren and those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, the scientists and first responders, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, 
Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, Savior. The Lord prepared his throne in the heaven, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Tres <laughs> Τη Παναγία Αχράντου υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου δεσπινήσιμων Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρία με τα πάντων των Αγίων Μνημονεύσαντε εαυτού και αλλήλου και πάσαν την ζωή νημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ μεθά. Ότι σαν το κράτο και σου εστίνει η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο. Νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Λord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise him as long as I have breath. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord reigns unto the age of ages, your God, O Zion, from one generation to the next. Only begotten Son and Word of God, although immortal, you humbled yourself for our salvation, taking flesh from the Holy Zeotokos and of the Virgin Mary, and without change becoming man. Christ our God. You were crucified but conquered death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Fulfill now the petition of your service for the benefit giving us the Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, 
commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Master and Lord our God, you've established in heaven the order and hosts of angels and archangels to minister to your glory. Grant that your holy angels may enter with us together and we serve and glorify your goodness. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. He trampled down death by death and became the firstborn of the dead. From the depths of Hades he delivered us and added to the world great mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless Father, the holy angels. Blessed is the entrance of your saints always now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Sophia Orfi Lefte proski niso man ke prospeso man Christo Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Ephraimesto tobonania, Alleluia, Sokae Pia.
Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Good and mercy, O Holy God, you dwell among your saints. You are praised by the seraphim with the bright, holy hymn, and glorified by the cherubim and worshiped by all the heavenly powers. You have brought all things out of nothing into being. You've created man and woman in your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the supplicant and do not overlook the sinner, but have established repentance as the way of salvation. You've enabled us, your lowly and unworthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar and to offer you due worship and praise. Master, accept the thrice holy hymn also from the lips of us sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions. Sanctify our souls and bodies and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives. By the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Amen. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. With conviction, the enemies. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed are you in the glorious throne of the kingdom, who is seated upon the cherubim, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. be attentive. Sing praises to our God, sing praises. Clap your hands, all you nations. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore to himself, saying, bless Father Helders. Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Men indeed swear by a greater oath than themselves, and in all their disputes an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he interposed with an oath so that through two unchangeable things in which it is impossible that God should prove false, 
we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to seize the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner shrine behind the curtain, where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Proskoman. Ψάλατε το Θεόν ημών, ψάλατε, ψάλατε το Βασιλή ημών, ψάλατε. Πάντα τα έθνη κρατήσατε χείρας, αλλά αλλάξατε το Θεό εν φωνή αγαλλιάς αιώς. Σοφία προς Εβραίους επιστολής, Παύλου το ανάγνωσμα. Προσκομέν. Αδελφοί, το Αβραάμ, απαγγυλάμενος ο Θεός, επίκα του δενός είχε μίζωνος ο Μόσε, όμως ε καθε, καθεαυτού λέγον, ή μην ευλογώ, ευλογήσωσε και πληθύνον, πληθυνώσε, και ούτω μακροθυμίσα σε πέτυχε της επαγγελίας. Άνθρωποι με γάρ κατά του μίζωνος ομνίουσι και πάσης αυτής αντιλογίας, Πέρασης βεβαίωσιν ο όρκος. Ενώ περισσότερον βουλόμενος ο Θεός, επιδείξε τη σκληρονόμης της επαγγελίας το αμετάθετον της βουλής αυτού, εμισέτευσεν όρκο ή να δια δύο πραγμάτων αμεταθέτων ενής αδύνατον ψεύστεστε Θεών, ισχυράν παράκλησιν έχομεν οι καταφυγόντες, κρατήσε της προκειμένης ελπίδος. Ήν ως άγκυραν έχομεν της ψυχής ασφαλείται και βεβαίαν και εισερχομένην εις το εσώτερον του καταπετάσματος. Όπου πρόδρομος υπέρ ημώνης ελθής Ιησούς κατά την τάξην με αλχής εδέκ αρχιερεύς γενόμενος Irinisi, peace be with you, the readers and all of you. Open our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel and still in us also reverence for your blessed commandments so that having conquered sinful desires we may pursue a spiritual life thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you are the light of our souls and bodies and to you we glory with your eternal Father and your all holy good and life-giving spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. The Gospel. Peace be with you all. And in the reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, a man came to Jesus and kneeling said to him, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit, and wherever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him, and when the Spirit saw him immediately, it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has he had this? And he said, from childhood, and it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, if you can, all things are possible to him who believes. And immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, Lord, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, 
You dumb and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him, it came out. And the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, this kind cannot be driven out but anything but by prayer and fasting. And they went out from there and passed through Galilee. And he would not have anyone know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days, he will rise. Peace be with you who proclaims the gospel God, in all of you. No one bound by worldly cares and pleasure would approach John near and minister to you, the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers. But because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You have served as a high priest and as Lord of all, entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherub and the Lord of the seraph and the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, so vested with the grace of priests, that I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. To you I come about head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor eject me from among your children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant worthy to offer to these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God, the one who offers and is offered, who is she distributed, and to you we have glory with the eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. See the King of all this being escorted by the angel of the cross, by the Lord, and 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 by the cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and sin and another bear me. Behold, you desire truth in the inner being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Wash me with peace, but I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be white. Let no bone heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones which you are broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then they shall teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. We love me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you would know to light and sacrifice for I to give of our offering. You would not be pleased. A sacrifice except the God is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart of God you will not despise. Do good, Lord, you the pleasure of Zion. And let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer boats upon your altar. And have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy upon me, O God.
Then bullocks shall be offered upon the altar. You are to give those who hate us and those who love us. Lift up, Master. El Señor Dios te acuerde de nosotros en su reino eternamente, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. May the Lord our God remember us all in his heavenly kingdom, both now and forever, and on to the ages of ages. Be offered upon your altar and have mercy upon me, O God. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. 
that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and in repentance. Let us ask the Lord. For a Christian into our lives, peace without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. peace be with you all. And with your let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one in He is, was, and shall be, he is, the doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalos, stomen metafovu, proskumentin agenanaforan, and it in the prosperity. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Comment us, guardias, let us lift up our hearts. We love the to the Lord. To Kiriu, let us give thanks to the Lord. It is for you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many-eyed cherubim. Round about you stand the seraphim, one with six wings and the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly, crying out to one another with unceasing voices and ever-resounding praises, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, Sabbath of heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to God in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, loving mastery, we sinners also cry and say, Truly, our holy and most holy. Oh,
for himself as his chosen people, a royal priest of the holy nation, having cleansed us by water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit. He gave himself as a ransom of death in which we were held captive, sold under sin. Descending into Hades through the cross that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened up a path for all flesh to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible that the author of law would be dominated by corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who had fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render to each according to his works. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these gifts which we have set before you according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable and life-giving death, on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up to the life of the world, he took bread in his holy and pure hands, and presenting it to you, God the Father, and offering thanks, blessing, sanctifying, and breaking it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine and having mingled it, offering thanks, blessing, and sanctifying it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also, remembering his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven and enthronement at your right hand, God and Father, in a second and glorious and awesome second coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. But because of your mercy and compassion which you have so richly poured upon us, we dare to approach your holy altar, bring forth the symbols of the holy and body and body of your Christ. Father, we pray to you and bread. call upon you, O Holy of Holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts here presented to bless, sanctify, and make Father, this bread to be the bread. precious body of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, bless the Holy and this God. cup to be the precious blood of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both Shed holy gifts. for the life and the salvation of the world. Amen. 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 Amen.
the prayers of the Divine Liturgy of St. Basil the Great are so powerful. They're a little different than St. John Chrysostom that we celebrate, but during Lent we do celebrate this liturgy. There's one prayer that is so powerful. I remember at seminary, our beloved Father Alkiviadis used to say, you want to know a job description of the priests? Read this prayer. Remember, Lord, the people here present and those who are absent with good cause. Remember, fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Nurture the infants. Instruct the youth. Strengthen the aged. Give courage to the faint-hearted. Reunite those separated. Bring back those in error and unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits. Sail with those who tra sail. Travel with those who travel. Defend the widows. Protect the orphans. Liberate the captives and heal the sick. Remember, Lord our God, all your people, and pour out your rich mercy upon them, granting them petitions for salvation. You, O Lord, remember, God, those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or because of their multitude of names, since you know the name and age of each, even from their mother's womb. For you, O Lord, are the help of the helpless, the Savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, and the physician of the sick. Be all things to all, you who know each person, his requests, his household, and his need. That is the church, a spiritual hospital for all of us, coming to it that we may be freed and be reunited with our Lord God and Savior and rejuvenated in his love. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep, Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. And we pray, O oh Lord, for those who are enduring religious persecution throughout the world, for the servants of God, George the priest. Laurentios and Nicodem, the priest, Peter, Diana, Eleni, Ron, Lubav, Steve, Danis, Gus, George, Sergio, Rita, James, Evangelia, Alicia, Jason, John, Danny, Kathy, Alex, Vasila, Stace, Andrew, and for those who are battling with the COVID-19 virus, and for your servants, Isaac and Vaso. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, faithful. It's truly a blessing to gather here again in our St. Mark Sanctuary, to gather as a church family, and to continue in the life in the course of Great Lent. Surely it is a blessing that we celebrate many things today, and we'll talk about a few of those that are pertinent here and tr truly blessings to us in our St. Mark family. As some of us know, today we will be offering one of the memorials for our Archbishop Iakovos of blessed memory. S most of us know that the life of the Greek Orthodox Church in America truly has roots and fortification by this man's archpastoral blessings and time of leadership. So it's fitting that today we celebrate his memory of 16 years, part of which because we also celebrate the St. John Chrysostom oratorical participants from our St. Mark Sanctuary, a program that allows for our kids, our youth, to call into their hearts and to present the tenets and the teachings of the faith and how they apply to them in the worldly times that we live in. Under Archbishop Iakovos' spiritual care, this program, this ministry came to be. And yesterday, we gathered in West Palm at St. Catherine in order to gather and to celebrate these youth who presented their speeches. So we had a wonderful collection of families from our district in the metropolis, and then especially from our St. Mark Church here. We had the Zaparegos family. We also had our dear Athanasios Bean, and also we had our dear... 
Stephanie Vagelos. And we were blessed yesterday to witness the way that they present the faith that is in their hearts. And this is what we are all called to do. We remember especially as they now transition and go on to the next level, the metropolis level of participation, Stephanie Vagelos and Stamatia Zaparego. So we're thankful for their blessings. And to continue with that, we were honored to be in the presence of one of our dear participants. And really, she's coordinated for a long time. And she was honored with a long-standing excellence award, with a fervent leadership award. And we remember Joanne Lindholm as she received this award for her over 30 years of service. This 30 years of service that stems back to that time of archpastoral care of Archbishop Iakovos. You see, in the life of the church, we remember the blessings that we received from yesterday. We remember how they are treasuries in our hearts today. And we remember how our Lord guides us to lift them back up to Him in the days to come. So this is the day that we can look into our hearts on this Lenten journey and see how we can offer back to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts you're presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Μετά παρησία, ακατακρίτω στον μάν επικαλείστε σε τον επράνιον Θεό πατέρα και λέγει Πάτερ ημών, ο εν τη ουρανή, αγιαστείτε το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου, ω τον ουρανό και επί τη γη. Τον άρτων ημών των επιούσιων, δώσε μην σήμερα, και άφησε μην τα ωφελήματα ημών ως και εμείς αφήμεν τις φελέτες ημών, και εμείς εν έγιση μας εις πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε ημάς από του πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and strengthen those here who have bowed their heads to you. Distance them from every evil deed, lead them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake. Without condemnation of these, your life's most pure and life-giving mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and the communion of your Holy Spirit. By the grace, mercy, compassion, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. 
let us be attentive. Proskome Ayatis Ayid the Holy Gets for the holy people of God. Break, Master. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken, you're not divided forever, eaten, you're never consumed, sanctified those who partake in Jesus. That he starts Nika, the cup is filled with the faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Bless the fervor of faith, full of your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came to the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown. And make me worthy, without condemnation, to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas. But as the thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Good morning. I rejoice today that we have our dear Father Jim Mulcetis, who will be offering the homily. I'm a little sad today because this is Father Jim and Brezda Bia's last Sunday here at St. Mark. We love when they come and they bless us with their presence. For many of you who do not know, Father Jim was the parish priest in St. Nicholas in Wyckoff, and I was blessed to assist him for 11 years while I was serving at the Archdiocese. I was reminded earlier that Father Jim, as we celebrate today the memory of Archbishop Yakovos of 16 years, he was the priest chosen to speak for the clergy when Archbishop Yakovos fell asleep in the Lord the night before. He served as the president of the national priests of our country and also as the only one to also serve as the Archdiocese Benefits Chair. He has an illustrious career, but I think he's most famous, I like to say, for being my Uncle Jim that I call him. So God bless you, Father Jim, and thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you. Always a joy to be <clears throat> here at uh, St. Mark's, a very, very special parish. And Father Mark is the, certainly the reason why it's so special and all of you to make this a, a glorious and wonderful experience for me and for all of us who attend. On this fourth Sunday of Great and Holy Lent, the clarion call of the church remains repentance and hopefulness. Repentance, the call for all of us to change our minds and to change our attitudes about life and how we live each and every day. The call to open our hearts to the joy of Christ and its victory and triumph, which we will soon celebrate on Easter Sunday. I am always inspired by the wonderful ministries and outreach that happen here at St. Mark's. Father Mark, Father Alex, and Father Alexander offer all of us inspired leadership to change our minds and our lives by drawing closer to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This year I was touched again by the reading of the Psalms that happen here throughout Great Lent. 
and recommended that the men's reading group in my former parish in Wyckoff, New Jersey, would follow and use this format for their Lenten preparation. There is one psalm in particular that is a standard for teaching and blessing, which leads us to the doorway of repentance by changing our minds, our attitude, our hearts, and our lives. It brings us ultimately to the joy of being one with Christ, just as Jesus and the Father are one. And that's the 50th Psalm. It's used so frequently in all of our services. It's used in the matin service, the orthros, the reading of the third hour in the Compline. It's the first Psalm that's read on the Friday evening services of Great Lent, the Hedetis Me. It is the heart of the sacrament of confession. And it's also recited at every divine liturgy in our church by the priest as he senses the congregation before the great entrance. O oh God, have mercy on me. According to your great mercy, David writes, and in accordance with the abundance of your compassion, blot out my many transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. And the psalm continues on with David's own realization to change, to change his attitude and to change his life. Change is a constant. It's always before us. It's a stepping stone by which we grow in life and in faith. There are many wonderful sayings in ancient Greek. One that I often use is tapanda ri. Tapanda ri. The symbolism is of a stream flowing on, that everything changes, nothing stays the same. Tapanda ri. Now I can remember when I was just ordained, my thoughts, my ideas, my practices are much different than they, how I view things now and how I do things. The things that I like, music and reading, relationships, food and politics have changed over the years. We can all relate to that, no matter how old or how young we are. Tapandari, everything changes. But remember, brothers and sisters, there's one thing that never changes. There's one truth that remains changeless. There's one standard that stands above all the rest. And that is that our God and our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ is always the same. In the Old Testament book of Malachi in his third chapter, he writes, I am the Lord your God and do not change. In the New Testament, we read in the book of Hebrews, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. A dear friend of mine recommended a book that I read called Oil and Marble. The book tells the story of Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo when they lived at the end of the 15th century and the beginning of the 16th in Florence, Italy. Da Vinci was at the end of his career. By the way, history tells us, and we don't know much about it, that da Vinci's mother's name was Ekaterina and that she was from Constantinople. Very interesting. And his father was from Da Vinci. Well, the book begins with Da Vinci being considered for a commission to sculpt the Duncio Stone. Now, the Duncio Stone was the largest piece of marble in Florence at the time. And it would become the symbol of pride for the city, ending up in front of the magnificent Duomo Church at the hallmark to the testimony, the height, and the achievement of Florentine art. Michelangelo had just returned from Rome, where he completed the Pietà. No television cameras reported the triumph of this young sculptor. No news coverage of the undisputed great work of art. This young, talented artist came to his hometown commissioners and also put a bid in for the work of the Duncio Stone. And finally, Michelangelo won. It changed the life of both men forever. Tapandari. 
Da Vinci, and Michelangelo. In defeat, Da Vinci went on and painted what most art critics say is the best painted ever created. And we know that painting as the Mona Lisa. In a like manner, Michelangelo worked tirelessly to complete the famous David, one of the world's most admired statues in all of humanity. Humankind has been blessed by both of these arts of work. In the midst of defeat comes moments of great glory. Tapandari. While da Vinci was painting the portrait of Lisa Gionondo, she was the one that posed for the Mona Lisa, da Vinci shared with her his experience painting that famous Last Supper in Verona, Italy. Now, da Vinci was seeking perfection for the faces of the apostles and Jesus to complete his great masterpiece. And da Vinci remembers how he found a beautiful young man on the rise of his life and his profession to become Jesus in the painting. For John, he found a graceful lad, a bearded old priest for Thaddeus, and so on. But Judas, Judas eluded him. He couldn't find someone wretched enough to portray the traitor. And he searched diligently for two years to find someone to be Judas. Finally, a friend told Da Vinci, I found him. He's in jail right now. His face was lined and angry, his complexion dark, his hair matted. The man was ravaged, a perfect fit. Da Vinci said, as I sketched him, he looked up at me and he said, you don't recognize me, do you? And Da Vinci looked closer and he realized, he realized this was the same man that he used to pose for Jesus two years earlier, before drink and sin and darkness destroyed him. Think about that for a moment. Tapandari. We all have Jesus moments in our lives and Judas moments as well. The apostle Peter, whose faith Jesus built his church upon, he had his Judas moments when he betrayed the master. But God did not leave Peter in despair and hopelessness, and he will never leave us there no matter how far we may stray. Indeed, we live in difficult times now. The horror of the pandemic, unrest in our world and our nation, restriction after restriction on our lives. But he who is changeless will sustain us in our life's journey. He who is chainless will guide us and guard us in our life's walk. For these times shall pass, and he who is changeless will bring us into the glory and the light and the joy and the love of our Lord and God. But first, we must change. We must leave aside those moments of darkness and despair, seeking the saving embrace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We must repent. This is what the Lord requires of us. The prophet Micah in the Old Testament wrote, brothers and sisters, the Lord requires us to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. To do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. St. Paul urges us to believe in our hearts and confess with our mouths that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. For in so doing, we move into the light and life of our Lord. Jesus is light and life. So let our light so shine before all people to bear witness to him. Our call is to move out of the shadows that oftentimes cause us to stumble and fall. Yes, to move from those Judas moments of hopelessness to those Jesus moments of hope to move from those Judas moments of despair to those Jesus moments of joy, to move from the darkness of Judas to the light of Jesus. We Christian men and women are called to walk with Jesus and become his light and his love. Tapandari. 
may we change with him who is changeless so that all may see more Jesus moments in us, in you and in me. St. John of the Ladder, memory we celebrate today, and he urges us on this Holy Lent to climb the ladder of salvation, to change our thinking and our living, to repent and encounter the joy of our Lord. Listen to David's call to God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and the abundance of your compassion. Through our Lord's mercy, may we change and move from darkness to life. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Tapandari. Με το φόβο τε οπίσεις και αγάπης προσέλθετε, save O God your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light, we have received the heavenly spirit, we have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity, the Trinity who has Blessing. said, be exalted, O God, our heaven, the glory be over us. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And the voice of the Lord, the Diaphylax of the Mass of the Lord, the Sicharity. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory. To the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In Yedini Pralfo, man, let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them who return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you the Father of lights. And to you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. We pause and offer memorial prayers, a six-month memorial for Amelia Stevens, the mother of Diane Stephen Kokis, a one-year memorial for John Kulmandas, a two-year memorial for Michael Cartier, a three-year memorial for Paul Scarpelos, who is Theodora's brother. We also offer a 16-year memorial for Archbishop Yakovos, and for many of us who are close with our patriarchate, a dearly beloved servant, Nicholas, the photographer, fell asleep suddenly at 67 years old on Saturday morning, our time and we offer memorial for his prayers. Μετά πνευμάτων δικαίων τα τελειωμένων τα σφιχάσων δούλων σου σώτερον απαυσόν φυλάτων αυτάς εις την μακαρίαν ζωήν την πάραση 
Philanthropen. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You are God who descended into Hades and freed the captives from their bondage. Grant rest also, O Savior, to the souls of these your servants. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Only pure and immaculate virgin who gave birth to God in virginity, pray for the salvation of their souls. With the saints give rest, we pray, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no more pain, nor sorrow, nor suffering, but life everlasting. Son Christ, das ist Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, Archpriest, Iacobus and Consolibrant, Nicholas, who have fallen asleep, and Amelia, John, Michael, and Paul, for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and given life to your world, give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants. Yaakovos, the archpriest, our brother and concelebrant, Nicholas, the servants of God, Amelia, John, Michael, and Paul, who have fallen asleep in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment, where there is no more pain, nor sorrow, nor suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word or deed or thought. For there is no one who lives and sins not except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. Σύντον άξου πατρινή και το Παναγίο και αγαθό και σώπια σου πνεύματι νυν και αΐ και εις θεώνας των αιώνων. For you, O Christ, our God, of the resurrection, the life, and the rest of your servants who have fallen asleep, and to you we give glory with your Father who is without beginning, and your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our brothers and sisters who are worthy of blessed and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. <laughs>
to the Lord. Lord of mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God of mercy upon us and save us. Through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs of our God-bearing fathers of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Jai Kimanana of St. John Climacus, whose memory we celebrate today and of all your saints, through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Dief conto ne io paternimo in Kyrie su Christe, o Theos, eleison que sos animas. May the Holy Trinity protect and keep all of you. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Please... Be, feel free to stay and join us outside for our coffee fellowship hour, physically distanced from each other. We thank you for your patience. We're getting there. We have a few setbacks from time to time, but we continue to move forward very carefully at our St. Mark Church. A reminder, this Wednesday, the book club for our seniors on Beginning to Pray is going to be postponed for one week. May God bless you, and again, a special congratulations for second place in the junior division to Stamatia Zaparegos and first place in the senior division for Stephanie Vagelos who will represent in Clearwater from the entire district at our metropolis in May. May God bless you and may the Holy Trinity protect and keep all of you and keep us all safe. Amen. shall ever be on my lips. My soul will glory in the Lord. Let the lowly hear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul will glory Extol his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me, and from my office he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. His
your face may blush for shame. Let the poor cry, the Lord tears him, and rescues him from distress.